Breaking news. This um, guy, this Morik director, this guy is, I mean, he talks like somebody who's got no wisdom. He speaks like somebody who, I mean, who just have to speak. And it's very sad because Nigerians are watching and he's making the news today again. What, is, what he said is really causing an outrage as Nigerians are saying this guy should be arrested. He speaks like somebody who has no wisdom, who I don't know how best to describe him, honestly speaking. Do you know what he said recently? He said, we support the return of the Taliban, but we will not support extremism and terrorism. That is Morik Director. And Nigerians are saying, what are you saying? What are you saying? Can you have a baby without cry? Can you say you want A without B? It goes together. It goes hand in hand. Have you ever seen them operating one without the other? It's very rare. You cannot get that. One without the other? No. So what are we talking about? These are some of the evil going on. This is the kind of mindset that these people possess and they carry. And yet, they are coordinator. They are directing people. Just imagine what is going on in their hearts and in their mind. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. We support the return of the Taliban, but we do not support extremism or terrorism. Morik Director. As the Middle East country of Afghanistan comes to terms with the fact that it has assumed a new name with its leaders, the Taliban, there have been calls for restraint and caution, as some have given support to the development why others have condemned the takeover of the country using force as executed by the taliban fighters loyal to the insurgents group has surrendered the capital kabul and after a smooth and easy maneuver the city was captured and the president fleeing as fleeing to an unknown destination currently while reacting to the incident, the director of the Muslim Right Concerns in Nigeria, Morik Professor Isiak Akintola, has hailed the return of the, of, of the Taliban to Afghanistan, adding that it was a move aimed to take back the country from the control of the United States of America, which has allegedly deceived the country for over 20 years. That was what he said. Recall that the U.S. has set foot in Afghanistan after the popular 9-11 attack on at the 11th of September 2001. Yes, some Taliban fighters has a plane ran into the World Trade Center in New York, killing hundreds of U.S. citizens. Afghanistan has been the hotspot for the Taliban and Osama bin Laden and all that has been going on has taken over individuals, including the attack towards relocating of the U.S. Army personnel to Afghanistan. The Taliban has later chased out of the country. Why they then surrendered to the democratically elected government was set up later. However, the U.S. under Joe Biden thought otherwise and started a removal of American troops from the city. Thus, the recent takeover of the same group in the country who has now taken over the capital. Akinto went ahead to mention that the U.S. has deceived the country and it did not seek for any means to ensure provision of infrastructure, return of power to the people, and to seek his own affair the way he wants it. The Morik leader further accused the U.S. government of fleeing when the country needed them most. Akinto, however, said that while they support the return of Taliban, they do not support any form of extremism. And Nigerians are asking, Oga, which one are you they talk? You are neither here nor there. That's the kind of person he is. That's the kind of person this guy is. He speaks and his words are, you know, you know, there are some people that speak and you'll be wondering, is this person okay? Is everything all right? You know, that's the kind of person he is. He says some things and people are like, uh, is everything all right with this man? Are you sure? I said he supports the return. How can somebody see these things that are wrong in the country? See things that are going from bad to worse. And you open your mouth and say, yes, they are doing quite well. It's very well. They are doing well. In fact, they should be applauded. And the whole world is watching. You, you, see, you, see, why, you see why Nigerian government and why this country, you see why they look at us outside the country, you see why they look at us like strange things because of some things that are happening. Because of some things and the way some Nigerians, their perspective towards life 
is very unprecedented. And one will begin to wonder, how did we get here in the first place? How did we get here? Just how did we get here? You see some things and you are wondering to yourself, when did this happen? How come nobody is saying anything? This guy continues to speak like someone without reasoning and nobody chastises him. Nobody calls him to order. That the world has ears and everybody is listening. And everybody is seeing what he's doing. Nobody says anything. It's really rather sad, you see. It's very sad, things that are going on. Very sad, things that are happening. And that's why we are saying to Nigerians, please, don't be silent in the face of oppression and evil that are happening. These people, most of them, they do not care for Nigerians. This was the same guy. You need to hear him arguing with Stella Damascus on the issue of child marriage. Ha! Fear of God will catch you, and they tell you. If you hear what he was saying, like he will allow his seven-year-old daughter to go and marry a man. It, it's unprecedented, the way this man speaks, the, the kind of things, the, the, his, his sense of reasoning is out of this world, honestly speaking. It's not, I mean, it's not rational, normal human thinking. It's like somebody who has been bewitched or maybe he's doing, I don't get what he's doing it for. Honestly, I can't tell you that this is the reason why he's behaving the way he's behaving, the way he speaks. And guess what? He has followers. He has followers, whether you like it or not. Remember, he's the director of the uh, Islamic movement, whatever. He has those who believe in his perspective. These are the kind of extreme people we have. Things happen in the country and he comes in from another angle and you are wondering, is this man okay? Is he all right? Does he need urgent medical attention? Because with the way he's speaking, a normal, rational human being will not speak in that light or in that way. But sadly, these are the people we have. These are the people that will come and say they want to take over leadership. And before you know it, they begin to introduce their perspective, which ought not to be so, into fundamental human rights. And before you know it, they are there, you know, and they, they cause a lot of chaos, you see, because of what they think or they believe, they want to impose it on others. How sad, how very sad. So my people, these are some of the things happening. These are some of the things we are experiencing. And that's why we cannot be quiet. No way. Nigerians, you can't be quiet. We must continue to speak. This is a Nigerian saying he welcomed the Taliban. Can you imagine? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now.